Hello, everybody. I'm going to move this microphone soon. So, I've been sitting here for about an hour and a half uh, channeling. I've been sitting here for about an hour and a half channeling. And when I be channeling, sometimes I'm writing. And sometimes I'm just sitting here just staring blankly at the wall. Because it's like... <sighs> Okay, what's going on? So, been having these dreams, and in some of the dreams, let me see if I can remember one of them. I see divine masculines uh, leaving. They're leaving, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? What was the dream I just had the other day? But it made me feel uncomfortable. Oh yeah. Yeah, again, it was another dream like someone's divine masculine or someone's counterpart is gone. And when I mean gone, uh, either somebody done hightailed it out, literally done drove the fuck away, or someone has passed away and, you know or they're gone. I don't know whether this is the energy has left them, the divine energy. This person did not choose their divinity. This masculine did not choose to walk the divine path. And so he's being kind of plucked out of the plan. Um, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Maybe he left because maybe he left because he had something to do. Maybe he left because he had another mission. Maybe he left because divine um, needed to deal with him on a solo level. Maybe he has some shadow work to do. Maybe he's going through a dark night of the soul. Either way, if your masculine has just hightailed it out, uh, let him go. I mean, let him let him do what he has to do. I'm not saying let him go like, oh, you know, negativity, negativity. He went nothing, blah, 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 whatever. I'm not talking about that. If the Most High has moved your masculine out of your energetic field, or out of your spiritual awareness or out of your physical space then that is because something needs to be done that has nothing to do with you or something is be is going on that the divine does not want you to be in the um, pathway of in 233 when I said that when I said it had nothing to do with you it was 222 so where's my phone uh, and give me my little piece of paper because when the angel numbers start flocking, my brain don't work like that. 222 and 233. Okay, so I'm going to read these angel numbers and then I'm going to this little colorful rainbow piece of paper here. I um, was flipping through my Bible and I was like, okay, you got a message? Show me the message. And this little colorful piece of paper fell out. So I'm going to read what's on this piece of paper, which is some notes that I took. Shucks. I don't know. Years ago. Years and years and years ago. But I I found that my higher self hides messages for me for now in the you know. So anyway. I know everybody reading the message the um title 333. I don't know. Y'all look these numbers up. 222 233 333 angel numbers. I'm going to get to it. I know people read, and it's 111 right now. So we're in divine time and any synchronicities. And I know people's like, oh, won't you just get on with what the title's about, moving on to bigger. Well, I can't give you the message until I give you the message. Okay, 222 could mean that you need a break from your person that you are with. This same message that I've been channeling. Um, or it could mean that this person is your twin flame. So if it could be saying that you need a break from this person or this person who did this to you, it's giving you the signs and symptoms that this person is your twin flame who has hightailed their ass up out of who. And I said masculine energy, it does not mean that it was a male. It could be a feminine carrying a masculine energy. These people are afraid of commitment. They are afraid of intimacy. They have issues with... Um, with expressing themselves with emotions. These people have been through a lot of trauma. These people have been through a lot of pain and anxiety, a lot of heartache, a lot of hurt. And you sitting there with your perfect, happy, loving behind, you know, you scared the fuck out of them because they scared that you're going to do the same thing to them that 
everyone else has done to them. And they're running with that energy. They're running with that energy, literally running away, running with that feeling. That has nothing to do with you. This message is not just for you. Because if it is your twin flame, this message is for them too. That something, get ready to move on to bigger things. Them too. Uh, is this meaning that them running away means they running away to bigger things? Yes and no. It means they're running away because they got to go deal with their shit. Because if they don't deal with their shit, they cannot handle the bigger thing that's coming for them. They cannot handle the blessing that is you. 522 when I said that. Y'all going to have to look these numbers up because I, I, the angels will take over this reading. And I won't be the real shit that I just got on this piece of paper. But <laughs> um, it's also saying that it could also be a sign that your love life is in balance. 222. Okay, how is my love life in balance if they ran away? Which can often be interpreted as two people being on the same level of commitment. Okay, they ran away. I still here. No, you some kind of way you ran away too. What well, did you run away emotionally? And then they are representing that physically. Did you run away uh, spiritually from the connection, from your connection with divine the source? Did you disconnect from them? Did you cut a cord? Did you say? Did you pull back? Did you say, um, I'm not doing this no more? You know, when you're a powerful manifester, divine feminine energy, <laughs> whether you are actual feminine female or a masculine, you know, that's tapped into the feminine aspect of self, there ain't nothing wrong with that being tapped into who you are. Because your, your feminine could very well be carrying the masculine energy and all that hurt and pain. That's why they run away. Okay, but saying that you're the same level of commitment. If at any sign of fear you cut off emotionally and at any sign of fear or trouble they run the fuck away, you are at the same level of commitment. You are balanced. Balance. Okay, so when I say balance, people always think about the good thing, right? Oh, it's good to be balanced. That means everything's going to be harmonious and everything's going to be perfect. Yes, that's balance. That is harmonious and that is perfect. Why? Because it is balance. You're both at the same level of commitment. When you're ready to level up, level up together. There's gonna, it's always gonna be that. If both of y'all are the same level of commitment, where you both willing to run emotionally, psychologically, physically at the sight of trouble, then that's your balance. That's where y'all at. That's your level. You're at the same level of commitment. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um. Okay. Might not want to hear it, but that's true. Okay. Then I saw. These are actually similar numbers that I got earlier. When I was channeling. Mm, me right on my little white dress. <laughs> oh, somebody think they perfect too. <laughs> somebody thinks that they're not doing anything wrong and that it's always the other person that's doing it. Um let me tell you something about twins. When you're if you know you're in a twin flame connection, you might not even know. You can look for you can look up the diff, different signs and synchronicities to let you know that you're in at seven um fifty seven when I was saying you think you're perfect. 757, you might want to look that up. Y'all, when this video is done recording, y'all might want to go back, pay attention to what I said, <clears throat> and what angel number showed up, and then that angel number is going to answer what I said without me having to go through all of them. My point is, somebody thinks that their twin is the one doing everything, but if they're your twin, you carry the same soul. You share a soul. You share a soul. This is not that half of the soul and this half of the soul you share a soul that means that the energies oscillate back and forth between you that means that if your twin is exhibiting narcissistic traits then your ass is a covert narcissist if your twin is exhibiting a uh, rainbow and sunshine and unicorns then you're a happy ass motherfucker on the inside but you always got your face balled up if your twin is showing you someone who lacks commitment, will not commit to any cause, will not keep any promises, will not keep their word, then there is some aspect of yourself that does not keep promises to you, to yourself, does not keep your word to yourself. So if there's an aspect of your twin showing selfishness, then you might be being selfish, might be being selfish with yourself. Um, if your twin does not show you love, does not um give you grace is not easily forgiving then you're not showing yourself love grace or forgiveness interesting you could be and then this is the way it is it's not always them who's showing the prominent traits you might be showing the prominent traits that they have to work on so 
this person might show a lot more of the strong negative traits but and you might show a lot more of the strong positive traits but they're reflecting what's actually inside of you and you are reflecting what's actually inside of them so if you're the one who's always brightly sunshines and unicorns um no one knows your shadow but that but your twin your twin shows your shadow and then people are always saying your twin and they're like damn that's a mean ass cruel ass you know low down selfish self-centered you know they talking about your twin they talking about you because your twin is actually loving you so much that they're willing to carry that trait to the outside world and work on it from the physical standpoint 1033 when i said that while you work on the um internal world and as you work on the internal world their external world will change and vice versa as they work on their internal world your external world will come into more balance so you're both working with different energies the physical uh, divine masculine and the etheric divine feminine or spiritual divine feminine energy so anyway what does this have to do with the title you gotta work through your shit before you can get something bigger how 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 you gonna receive it? How you gonna have room to receive something bigger when you got bullshit? You gotta make room for the something bigger. You gotta clear out the attic. You gotta clear out the basement. You gotta clear out the house. You gotta clear out the color clutter. Clean the fucking closets. Wash the fucking walls. If the universe is gonna bring you something big into your life, you can't have that old shit still lingering. So they're gone to prepare place in the you know whatever mission that divine has them on and you need to be here preparing the place on the inside they're working on physical stuff they're closing karmic cycles they're clearing karmic debt they're clearing your shit and their shit physically so you see them struggling and going through stuff don't be judging them because you're talking about your damn self because they're doing the work for you and them phone just went off i say what's on my mind boom <laughs> anyway um Likewise, you got to clear that energy within yourself. You got to clear space and make space for new love and uh, gratitude and abundance and prosperity to come in and to be showing um, thankfulness for those things. 12-12 when I said that. Fucking alignment. Anyway, I said I would go ahead and look up what? I did a 222 for you. I'm going to look up 233 then I'm going to read this. Okay, so 233 is saying, okay, you're going to meet your twin flame or your soulmate. It's time for that to happen. It says that you're both on the level, same level of commitment. But it says that because of that level that you guys are on right now, it may be that you're not able to yet um, keep the connection intact. So a separation may occur. It, it, but it's it just separation is not to be taken as a negative thing. The separation is for your betterment. It's so that you both can heal. So when you come together, or if you're already in separation, the universe is asking you to change your perception of oh I can't see them, oh I can't be with them, oh I can't spend time with them, um oh I can't talk to them. Don't change your perception of that because I see a, uh, in my spirit I'm seeing hermit mode. They want you to be in the pretty hermit mode, feminine, feminine. If your masculine is gone off and they're having to deal with some stuff and it may be a secret, it may be all out in the open, you know, you'll know. You know intuitively what's going on or you might literally know what's going on. It does not matter. That's not important. What is going on is that you need to be in pretty hermit mode. 1344. Pretty hermit mode is the nine of pentacles when you are tending to your garden and you sitting there beautiful and radiant and abundant, radiant and abundant because you've completed your aspect or your part of this particular um, cycle of the twin flame journey. And so now it's time for you to reap these rewards and benefits. And now we're coming around to what this message is about. But um, this angel number pertaining to love, uh, it indeed takes a lot of time to overcome pain and losses that you have got from loving someone. It is so tough to forget the betrayal of the person you trusted the most in the universe. But from where the angels are speaking to you, there are two options. You can either run from it or learn from it. Now, what's the odds, y'all? That this angel number line and perfect with the whole thing. Um, if you wish to defeat this pain and emerge victoriously, these then the angels will certainly help you overcome the burden. See, 
another reason why this person is running away because you had an opportunity for a new beginning. This person came back to you at some point or energetically or emotionally or the universe has tested you because we're in a retrograde. This person might be on their way back. And if you haven't healed and you can't receive that love and you can't receive this person without all that malice and um, past hurt and strife and you come, they come back and you in the king of swords, uh, reversed energy, you all narcissistic and angry, you in a reversed emperor energy and you want to control everything, you want to control how everything go, oh you, when you come back you need to come to me like this, 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 or oh, I won't accept you, then you just missed out on your blessing, you just missed out on your bigger thing because, let me tell you a secret, nah, I ain't gonna tell you that secret. Cause you gotta learn your fucking lessons, and the secret is for <laughs> secret is for the folks that learn their lesson. But just know that you might miss out on your blessing. You might miss out on your bigger thing. Some things, some things you don't have access to until you pass the test, until you learn. And if you haven't learned, you haven't passed the test. Sorry, access denied. The word blessing. I was looking up the word blessing this week because I heard in my spirit and Ruach was like, um, <laughs> was like, what does, I said, what does blessing mean? What does blessing mean? It is funny. Let's see, do I have my little notey notebook? What does blessing mean? Because I was sitting there talking to my uncle and I was like, oh, um, you know, what does blessing, what the word blessing mean in Hebrew? And he told me, but most I had already channeled the message to what it meant um, to me already. So when he told me what it meant in Hebrew, I was like, huh, the most High told me exactly that. And I didn't even read it or know what the Hebrew word was. So I'm trying to see. I also got something to share with y'all, so I might walk away and go get another notebook. If I'm allowed to do it. If I'm not, then I'll do it on another time. Did I write it down in here? It's probably not in here. But, anyway. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, when I looked up blessing, the word is Barak. And Barak in Hebrew is, what he said, Bet, Resh, Hit, Kaf, Kaf. Ha ha, I got it. Unk, I remember. These are the Hebrew letters. Okay, and he was like, Bet is the indwelling or the house. Resh is. <laughs> I think it's the hand that gives. And then the uh, calf is the open palm. But anyway, or the benefactor is someone. Anyway, y'all. Anyway, a blessing is only able to be given to you by someone who has the authority and the power and the abundance to give. And it's infinite. So if you have a blessing and. and the, the most high has got for you if you're gonna be but oh two sides balance right positive and negative barak also means cursed so it means blessed or cursed so if this hands open like the matrix me and my friend was watching the other day that we haven't still finished watching yet um <laughs> choose Blessing, curse, blessing, curse, blessing, curse. It's the same thing as two of swords. Two of swords is like it's depicted as a woman who has her eyes closed, who's blindfolded, with two swords beside her head. Now let me tell y'all something that I figured out about these two swords. Most people say these two swords are guarding her while she goes within. Anybody that comes near her, she's gonna cut. But let me tell you what: if she don't make a decision, or she makes the wrong decision, or she is moved in the wrong way, she can actually cut off her own head, which means she's not going to make a decision. She doesn't have the ability to make a decision. She's not conscious. She's not aware. That's, you know, you know, I'm sorry, y'all. I can see stuff different than other people. But I also see it as two truths. Two truths. The sword represents truth, but also a sword that also has two edges. So there's a positive and negative to this truth and there's a positive and negative to this truth and so whichever one you choose the universe is going to align for you to have that but you have to choose one you can't sit there like this in limbo forever what's going to happen you're going to turn to a foot eventually you're going to get tired the soul going to go down you're going to cut your arms off you know this is me being physical uh literal about a figurative analogy whatever anyway my point is make a fucking choice <laughs> Make a fucking choice. And whatever choice you make, the universe is going to align behind that choice that you make and make everything fall into order, positive and negative. You got to take it all. When you take this choice, when you make this choice, you're on that contract. 
that goes along with it. Everything that goes along with it. So you can't be saying to someone, oh, I'm scared because the flip side of this is that if I choose to be with my divine masculine, I got to do my soul work. If I don't choose to be with my divine masculine, then I don't get to be with my divine masculine, but at least I don't have to do all this hard spiritual work stuff. Wrong again, because you don't choose your divine counterpart to go through this stuff with in love. You might be issued a karmic counterpart to go through with it in pain because your contract in soul energy right here in the middle right here in the middle where the soul is crossed is what the fuck you supposed to be doing period it's just you get to choose you're gonna do it this way or you're gonna do it this way but either way you're gonna motherfucking do it sorry you're gonna learn your lesson you're gonna do what you gotta do regardless of the path you choose so that's why no matter what path you choose you can't choose wrong you can't choose wrong and not meaning that Oh no, if I choose wrong, no, you can't choose wrong because either way you're going to be guided right back around to yourself where you're supposed to be at. No matter what path you choose, you're guaranteed the universe is going to put you right where the fuck you're supposed to be at. So, if you, the choices that you make have consequences. Good, bad, positive, negative, right, wrong. Blah, 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 blah. The scales are going to be there no matter what. Use your wisdom. Use your inner voice. You can avoid a lot of pitfalls. Don't share everything that is going on in your life, positive or negative. You can avoid a lot of pitfalls because what happens when you share? you sharing. Then you're giving this access to information, access to your energy, access to your life, to other parties who are able to then weave their little magic wands and magic webs of... Let me talk about... And they're just having conversations. But you know what's happening? Those are spells, those are words, that's energy and motion. Their emotions are inside of your business. And then your business gets all... Ooh, and you like... I just said I was going to the grocery store today. Why all these blockages? Why all these the fucking traffic lights red? I can't just get there. Because, girl, she's going to take the grocery store and she ain't, she ain't going to buy nothing that she need to buy. And you get to the store and say, damn, ain't nothing I need here. <laughs> what happened? Shut up. But I heard, uh, keep it on the hush. Don't say nothing. Ain't going to be no talking. While I'm doing my thing. That's what the vine said. Don't say nothing about it. While I'm working. I ain't going to tell you because you can't be quiet. I, I got a surprise for you. But I can't tell you what it is because. This is why most. This is why in the scriptures a lot of times. <laughs> uh, Yahweh was like. Shh. Don't tell nobody. I just healed you. He healed me y'all. And he like. I knew you were going to keep your mouth shut. But you know. Go ahead tell them. Here they go. You gonna heal me too. You gonna heal me too. By his faith, he was healed. By her faith, she was healed. I'm a channel for the information and for the energy. However, according to this person's faith, works, karma, uh, energetic alignment, belief, manifestation, desires, prayers, all that lined up and they were able to receive it. And that's the energy that we're in. We have to be receptive in order to get this bigger, better things. Um, we can't be in our masculine energy. Masculine energy is a pusher. Pusher. That's why the masculine energy is running. So, I just got it on download. So, the masculine energy is pulling back. So, the feminine energy can be more prominent. And it's not just about a person. This is about the energy within all of us. So, if the masculine energy pulls back and runs away and goes to the outskirts. And then that makes the feminine energy be the one that rises more prominent. Then that's the receptive energy. Because the universe is giving it's giving. What scriptures say about masculine energy? The man don't work, he won't eat. Okay. I'm tired of that part. We had a whole age of Pisces of that part. We're in the age of Aquarius. I want to receive. Give me, give me. Like, what's that? Um, Dave Chappelle. <laughs> it looks like Rick James. <laughs> okay, so irony. Irony. We're going to talk about some irony here because when this rainbow piece of paper came out, we got rainbow. We got rainbow all around me. We got the chakras alive. We got the promises of God. If you want to look into it scripturally, a rainbow piece of paper came out. More irony for you. The scripture at the top of the page says Joshua 3, 5 through 17. And the, um, Joshua... 
in my Bible. Is it on three, five, three? Yes, it is. Okay, so it says, get ready to move on to to bigger things, greater things blessings get ready before the door is opened so this is like the same energy matter of fact y'all i'm gonna post it at the end of this i did a youtube video last night and it was saying exactly that if my cards are still here i can still show them to you let's see if they're still oh there it is celebration this celebration card came out right here and you see it's rainbow there's a rainbow tree behind me and there's a rainbow piece of paper right here y'all this is alignment y'all be like oh she said me set shit up just for y'all. I love y'all, but mm, for real, <laughs> be for real, be for real, be for real. Okay, <laughs> it's not that serious. I don't get paid for this, so <laughs> I'm not setting this shit up for y'all. Okay, the universe is setting this shit up because the universe loves you. Okay, so back here, back to this. Oh look, the little lady behind me got the chakras right there, and they're gonna mine right here. You can't really see them and put up. Yeah, my chakras. Anyway, back to the alignment, celebration energy. They want you to get ready before the door is open. The next thing was abundance had come out. Celebration and abundance. Look, there's another rainbow tree. Except with this one has it like before. Y'all gonna see the video, but I'm gonna just do a quick recap for those people who ain't gonna come back and look at the video and who ain't gonna go on YouTube. I'm just trying to help y'all out because I love y'all because I ain't gotta do this shit because I already did it before last night. Okay, so. <laughs> um... You see how this tree is already in celebration even before it bears any fruit, even before it has any leaves. And right here on, on the inside of this tree right here, this tree is made completely of light. Much like my little white dress I got on now. Hmm. My hair is all colorful. Okay, okay, okay. I'm seeing a representational energy that's going on here. Universe going through a lot for y'all. Okay, and for me too. So, now, then this right here, this is the abundance right here. And you see those same chakra colors. This right here, actually, with the shadow, looks kind of like a dragon. I don't know if y'all can see that. Like a baby dragon lit on there. Anyway, or a phoenix. So, anyway, this is your resurrection. This is your resurgence. Like, you went through a whole lot of stuff. You went through a whole death and transformation. And the universe is bringing you abundance because of that. Because you allow yourself to go through those ego deaths. You allowed yourself to close out all these karmic cycles close up these and you close these doors and you locked them and you blocked them and you was like no i'm never going through that again and that decision that choice that sword you chose is aligning the universe to give you exactly what it is that you have that has been waiting for you all along that was meant for you all along this bigger and better this new beginning this new life and all these other people who are tapped in that i deal with or that you may even have listened to they're all getting the same message that something bigger and better is coming that a new beginning that a new life that something that's very transformational is coming because of psychic knowing they are have they are tapped in these are the same cards from last night is somebody at my door Sound like my son on here talking. He be having this the most driest converse, you know, uh, tone when he talking. But he be saying the most profound stuff. And you know what? Sometimes you miss stuff because of how it came to you. Because of how it came to you, you shut it out. You ignored it. You didn't pay attention to it. But it was the biggest, most profound blessing or information or opportunity. But because it didn't come how you expected expected it to come you missed it and this is why they said celebrate before it comes so you could be expecting it so you can look for it so you can see it when it comes and you gonna know it even if it come upside down backwards inside out uh rolling in on a wagon uh pulled on a raggedy ass blanket down the street whatever it is that this abundance is that's coming to you i don't care if somebody pulling a big pile of treasure and you see a raggedy ass bag that is in you like what the fuck is that oh i don't bring that to me i don't want that right there that was your test that was the, how it got in through the cracks that's how it got around the haters that's how it got around the enemy it had to be disguised it's not easy and it looks like it's not working because it's in disguise to get to you. All this stuff is being disguised to get to you. You got to trust and believe and know it's coming. You got to make room for it. You've already been told. Renewal. Reconnect with spirit. This renewal is coming. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever you thought you lost, just being renewed. Look at that. 
Look at that vitality coming into that tree. That is um the solar plexus, sacral energy, heart energy. So there's a vitality of your your happiness, your joy, your inspiration, your creativity, your love, your sexual energy, your uh, sensuality. This is your heart space, your unconditional love, your unconditional love towards yourself, unconditional love to be shared with someone else, for someone else to share with me. You, if you can't love yourself, you can't receive it. If you don't already have it inside of you, it ain't got nothing to connect to. When it comes towards you, it's gonna be bumping up against the wall. You keep bumping me against the wall. Yeah, I know I let you slide before, but until you see me, trust me, you ain't seen bouncing back. Y'all, somebody listen to that song. That song cold as fuck. Anyway, basically, these karmics who been trying to block. Oh, you ain't seen bouncing back. He prepares a table for me in the presence of my enemy. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Not outside, not on the wall, not on the outskirts, not in the yard. Not around the corner from. I'm in the house of the Lord. In the house of abundance. In the house of freedom. In the house of protection. In the house. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. Secret. It's secret. It's covert. You're hidden. The blessing is hidden, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. It's a shadow. It's not for everybody to see it. This is an abide. This is a hiding place. This is a safe place. This is a safe zone. Oh, where? It's a shadow, though. It's a shadow. So the motherfuckers who are looking for your light to devour it won't look there. They won't look there. Anyway, use what God is. I'm, I'm reading what I wrote. Y'all wrote this when I was on. Um, this is probably like hmm. pink rainbow paper. I'm remembering this had to be like 2013 when my baby when when I was pregnant with someone or something like that. But anyway, um, use what God has already given you to reach the goal He has set before you. Take the first step. Now, also, I was seeing uh, there were scriptures that were talking about giving. You can look them up. Scriptures talking about giving. It says, give and he will be given unto you. Then it'll say, give and it'll come back to you. Good measure, press down, shaking together, running over, he'll cause men to give into your bosom. Then there's other things that it says, um, give and according to your measure that you give, it will be given back unto you. So what's this saying? It don't say, wait till you get it, then give it. It said, give first. This saying, don't celebrate after you get it, celebrate first. Don't prepare after you get it, be prepared first. Because this is faith. This is, you got the information. I'm telling you the information. Get prepared. Get ready. What did DJ should say? Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. So. um, Oh, you know what I have not been doing? Is checking to see if they're in the comments. Don't really matter, honestly. Hey, hey, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. The reason why I was saying it didn't matter is because I missed all of them. But you know, I go back and I, I respond to all my comments. But anyway, <clears throat> this is talking about the measure that you give, that, that what you choose. You you choose it. You're initiating this. The power is yours, Captain Planet. The power is yours. Also, the magician card. Captain Planet was the magician. Our generation has been taught. Esoteric knowledge in our cartoons. Earth, fire, wind, water, heart, gold, planet. By your powers combined, I am Captain Planet. Captain Planet, he's a hero. 3311. Gonna take pollution down to zero. I'm looking up these numbers later, y'all. So, y'all, I suggest y'all go back and write them down. Because they may be something specific for you. But anyway, the reason why I'm saying that he's a magician is because magician matched all the elements in order to create what it manifests um, what is necessary or what is desired into the realm or what is for them. So, um, my clothes being crooked were bothering somebody. It wasn't bothering me because I didn't realize it. But somebody was like, you probably my mom. Cause my mama, she looks, she don't like seams to not match. <laughs> I'm sorry why I called you out. <laughs> um, but anyway, <laughs> we'll be walking down the hallway and your pants crooked. My mama will snatch you up and shake your body around and put that seam in place. You know what? That's for a reason. Because the most I see you walking around and something out of alignment and you like, oh shit, what just happened? What happened in my life? He was just shaking you putting that seam in place. It was out of love. I, I, I just, I'll just straighten you up. I'll just set you up. I'll just fix it that for you. I, I, carry on. Carry on. Carry on. So, anyway... <laughs> Anyway, that's for love. But anyway, that's also to remind you guys, you know, when this is coming to you, 
when it comes to you, the universe loves you. This ain't going to be your only warning. This ain't going to be your only, like, hey, something's coming. This not. The universe going to give you something and straighten up that seam and be like, uh-uh. Because you're meant for this. This is yours. The hand is open. And that's what blessing means. I'm going to do a lesson on that too. But the hand, the open palm, the hand is open to give to you. It's only for you. This one, this particular, can't nobody, it's, it's like this. Anybody else try to get your shit is not open to them. Because they got their own. But they got to do their work to get it. Because until they done their work, their stuff is in the air like this. They folks just holding it. Oh, I'm so tired of holding this. Let me get somebody else to hold it. Oh, I'm going to hold it for them. They waiting. Is they in alignment? Can I get them some? No, they ain't ready yet. Oh, shit, my arm's tired. Let me get somebody else. Uh, 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 sister so-and-so up here in the etheric realm that's watching over their connection, that's watching over this person's abundance. Hey, can I get a rest break? You want to hold this for them? Yeah, I'm going to hold it for them. Oh, they did some good. Can I get them some of it? Yeah. But you can't get them them but a little bit. So they like, <laughs> all of this is for you, but all they could give you is this right here because this is, this is what you were in alignment for. But that's in the past. Right now, you about to be in alignment for this. <laughs> Let me show you. Um, damn, did it? Is it in this notebook? I was trying, I was sitting down, and I got a vision. It may not be in this notebook. It's not. But there was a a very large etheric being, and I feel like it was the Most High. And he was on a tornado. He was in a tornado. He came up out of it and he was looking down and then there was a hand that was extended out, raining down blessings on this group of people. And they were in the symbol of hey, which is the Hebrew letter for behold. They were holding their hands up like this. That's hey. <laughs> behold. They were looking up. And he was raining blessings down onto that person. Onto that group of people. I don't know. Y'all ain't going to be able to see this. Let me see. Y'all, this is not going to be my best artwork. I just thought y'all might want to know. Okay. I'm going to see if y'all can see it. So, <laughs> excuse my little drawing. I could draw it better later. Who cares? The the divine is on this tornado and there's this whirlwind of energy coming up through him and he's raining this energy down on all these people here but there is someone over here who is set apart from them all who is getting their own personal shower this is being distributed among the people this is being given to an in someone in particular he's not even looking at that person while he's giving it to him because he don't want nobody else looking over there I had this vision 3755 when I said that. I'm going to go back and read this and I'm looking up them angel numbers because I'm, I, when I'm giving a message, I'm, when I'm giving a message, I am giving a message also. I had this vision of this man whose eyes were made out of lightning. And um, this man will have his eyes open. And seeing some people and have his eyes closed and seeing other people so take that as it resonates if that interprets or applies to you you'll know it if it doesn't then let it go it ain't your it ain't yours it's it nachos nacho chips nachos yeah shake it shake you shake you to put that seam in place Okay, so um, we'll start by taking the first step. You being the person that initiates the giving. You initiate the process that opens up the abundance to you. Because with that measure that you measure, he'll measure back a hundredfold to you. That's in scripture too. Um, Yahweh Shai said it. Jesus said it. So Google it. You'll find it. He was talking to the disciples. Basically telling them, you know, that, hey, you know, if a man who loves his life will lose it. The man who hates his life will gain eternal life. And it's like, okay, well, hands off of the stuff that's related to the carnal realm. And he was like, but, because, 39.22. Hands off the stuff that belongs to the carnal realm. But, because you are willing to give it up. Because you are willing to follow me. 
because you were willing to give me all. I give you everything that you lost, everything that you thought. With this renewal card, everything that you released, I'll return to you a hundredfold. Look at this. If this don't look like a hundredfold energy. Okay, you went from releasing, you know, this renewal energy here to this celebration energy. And then you go into this above. that are not um bearing fruit they are cut off they are pruned they are burned well those that are not bearing fruit and they're not serving their highest potential they cut off but those that are they have a pruning process so that the the maximum amount of energy and nourishment and nutrition and um vitality can get to them and that's what most high is doing for this person or this group for this chosen one that's set apart but that group is going to get their stuff too those people that are part of the collective but there's uh there's some who are chosen who are the one you know like neo in the matrix can nobody else be neo but they all was special they all had their shit they all was bad as fuck but they just want neo ain't nothing wrong with being morpheus ain't that what his name was Ooh, why was I finna call him some middles? And in Trinity, they were some badass motherfuckers. Anyway, rewinding, bring it back in. It's taking the first step. That that what you measure. So if you say, I'm gonna give you a teaspoon. I'm gonna give you a teaspoon of of, of my of me. A teaspoon of my gifts, a teaspoon of my money. Then a hundred then when he multiply back to you, you gonna get a hundred teaspoons back. And here you go, Tom Song. Amen. <laughs> you initiated the giving by your faith. Yo, it does not matter what measure that you initiated with. Don't sit there thinking, oh, I need to get a truckload to start my initiation with. If your teaspoon was all you had, that is the equivalent of four or five truckloads so if that was all you had then your measure will be given back to you in four or five truckloads value of your teaspoon if that makes sense you gotta that the divine ain't looking at this to i had to tell somebody earlier today when i'm channeling a message and i'm writing charmaine with all these degrees and straight a on the roll student and honor society and you know five kappa theta you know all them that bitch can write and she <laughs> she spell her words right spirits i don't give a fuck about your rules about these words get this message this is not a reservoir you are a channel for this information once it comes through you it is gone i am channeling it through you it's not for you to sit here and hold it i can't hold all that shit you know how many messages i give I can't hold all that shit no i'm a channel so i ain't got time <laughs> I when I'm writing, if it, if I I'm sitting here and Charmaine try to tap in and say spell that word right, they say the fuck you will keep writing. You can go back and correct it later if you want to, but the message still the message still the message, and I don't give a damn that truck is spelled T R U C K. It's T R U K right now. Keep going. <laughs> it's supposed to be a C <laughs> Like says who? Do do say who? Says how I was taught all that shit wrong. Erase all that shit, learn something new so you can make room for something better. Taking the first step, you initiate this by your faith. Don't worry about the technicalities of that. The most high knows your heart, knows your intention. Oh, yeah, that was another message I got. People not being challenged by they, by not being not challenged. You are being challenged. They're not being judged right now by their works. Matter of fact, damn it, I just closed it, y'all. Yeah, you had a Bible in front of me and I cussed. I just closed it up because it was something I was reading and it was like, let that person that think that they was, um, a butt that, oh, I didn't even read where it was at. I just was flipping. But anyway, it was actually a scripture and it was saying that, um, the fool ain't gonna be seen as wise no more and that miser isn't gonna be praised for being a giver anymore just because they basically had it. They're not gonna be praised for that no more. It's gonna be like your intentions. Your intentions is what you being being um judged on because 
You said God knew my heart. Mm -hmm. Do you know your heart? Are you willing to accept who that shadow person is on the inside? Are you? Have you looked at that person? <laughs> I've looked at that person. Um, look at that person. But anyway, <sighs> clearing the energy. The Moses generation died out because of unbelief, but the Joshua generation lived. From both generations, God said, take up 12, one from each tribe of Israel. All 12 of these, of all 12 of this generation believed. Out of the Moses generation, only two of the 12 believed. You see how it's like a weeding out of, um, the belief system who who in that old paradigm in that old way in that age of pisces or in that old old uh belief system in that old covenant who believed only two out of that generation believe but all 12 out of the joshua generation believe you know it's like be and my uncle was doing shabbat yesterday and the image that the most has showed me was this crack y'all yeah, keep on reaching for the same damn notebook and every time I read for it, it ain't the one that got the stuff in it. It don't matter. But anyway, it ain't. I already know it. But anyway, I was showing this crack in the wall. But I can draw. I can draw y'all some more little ugly diagram. One day I'm going to give me a little board. And I know this message long. But, you know, you can always clock out, come back to it. That's why it's recorded. You can always zoom through it. I was shown, I asked the most high, why do we go through hard times? <clears throat> and um he said um to imagine a wall with a crack in it and so I did and he was like blow and magnify that crack up so when I magnified the crack it looked like this right yeah if the camera is flip flop y'all so give me some time it looked like this if you are hard and rigid and stuck in your ways and your belief system can you fit in that crack it don't matter how you, you going to have to lose some stuff. Just a scripture about how the rich man get into the kingdom of God or get through the eye of the needle. Go through the eye of the needle, which is the gateway into the um kingdom or into the city. <clears throat> yeah, how the rich man or how does a camel, a rich man getting into the kingdom of God is like a camel going through the eye of a needle. Yeah, I remember that. Eh. What? The camel got to lose his hump in order to go through the eye of a needle. As a little kid, I actually literally thought about the eye of a needle, but it was like a gate. But if the camel got a hump, and the camel was usually uh, represented or driven, that's a luxury vehicle back in the day. You know, that's what the caravans had on. You had to be rich to have a camel because they were, you know, they were high efficiency. You know, they didn't, uh, they didn't require all them stops to get no water like them donkeys did. The donkeys was the Honda. <laughs> I don't know now. Hondas be rolling. Anyway, um... In order to get through that that gateway, all they, they had to lose all that stuff on his back. But anyway, that's what you went through. You went through that pruning process. You let go of things so that you can get in. But once you got in, what was on the other side of that was the abundance. You had to let go of what you thought was riches. You had to go let go of what you thought was your friends. You had to let go of what you thought was your family. Because really on the other side, in the kingdom energy, is where your abundance was. Your true family, your soul tribe, your prosperity, your true love. You had to let go of the ex-husband. You had to let go of the ex-boyfriend. You had to let go of them four five boyfriends. You had to let go of them four five girlfriends. You had to let go of that baby mama. You had to let go of, you know... Auntie, who uh, you just always had this strong connection with, and you was like, no, nah, Auntie can't do no wrong. No, nah, Auntie, Auntie got her own path. Uh, or that you was holding on to her because that was your life source. That was your your person that you went to whenever you was having a hard time or you were scared or you was in trouble. You could always go to her. No, you had to stand on your own. Auntie not gonna be there forever. Get rid of those. Get rid of those who don't believe. Some people, you have to leave in the wilderness because they choose to be there. They are afraid to leave the wilderness because it's easy and they don't have to fight giants. Yo, I be prophesying to myself. Ooh. Oh me, 
in the bed, sick ass me, girl. You were doing that shit. You was, you knew you, you knew you was writing this shit for me to file it on so I can help you share these other folks. Oh, girl, thank you for being obedient, past self. I fucking love you, bitch. Anyway, excuse my French. I'm just hype. Okay, anyway, um, get people. Okay, get people out of your life that keep you down. When we start comparing ourselves with the Moses and Joshua generation, we see that the Joshua generation wanted more and had a different mindset. You can bless more people when you when your needs are already met. You have more money than you need when you are so blessed that you can be a blessing to others. Like I said when I channel, I can't spell y'all because y'all may be reading this like what? Okay. The Joshua generation said that God promised it to them and they want it. I was promised something. I want it. I want it. You got it. Don't make me have to go in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Joshua generation. Y'all, y'all knew the irony of this damn thing that I'm reading. Whoo! Cause the Joshua generation will go get that shit out your motherfucking pocket. This mine. I want it. It will promise to me. You hold on to it. I'm gonna get it up out of you. Spiritually, physically, emotionally. We gonna go the other ways. Uh, God promised something to us last year that we didn't receive because we were distracted. Boom. This happened for real. This happened in what? 2021. 2021 was supposed to be the next big thing. Like, it was supposed to be a lot of promises. But, ooh, it was a whole lot of motherfucking energetic distractions. We had the god dog on vaccine. We had people talking about this and that. And, uh, this person gonna be a zombie. And if this person got a vaccine, they cut off from God. Now they the devil. They worship the devil. They gonna be, they got them nanites in them. The 5G tower was turned on. Everybody done went crazy. You got, what else happened? Uh, a lot of shit. You can't even fucking remember because your head was fucking spinning. Then you had all these emotional distractions, all these people that you love pulling at your heartstrings. You got heart problems now. You got to have shit in, in, implanted in you to make your heart beat right because you didn't let your heartstrings get pulled so motherfucking much because you couldn't center yourself because you forgot what the promise was and you didn't reach for it. When your opportunities came, you let them pass by because you was distracted. That's okay because what's motherfucking meant for you is meant for you. Yeah, she cousin. Proverbs 23.7 Think like a winner. Y'all can find it yourself. I'm reading the notes. See yourself winning. God told Abraham to look at the stars. Look at the sand. God gave him a vision to go with his promise. He gave him a vision to go with his promise. So he didn't just tell him, I promise you something. He showed it to him. Gave him a, he gave him a visual. He stimulated that subconscious mind so that he can run with it. Write the vision that they may run. Right? Make it plain on tablets. Uncle Shell was just doing it. My grandma used to shake the shit out of that scene too. When she saw your pants cricket. Your ancestors are shaking the shit out of you saying, I need you to see that this these motherfuckers in your life cricket. Get it straight. Um, we're gonna put straight seams in your life. We're gonna line this stuff up. We working from the other side. We left early. We left you physically early because we want to make sure that you get your shit. We want to make sure ain't nothing in the etheric holding you back forward. So I left from the physical plane and I went up there so that I could be your representative up there because I was just down here with you and I saw what was going on and I felt what was going on. See these folks right here that been up here for a while and forgot what it felt like to be human. They don't forgot what it felt like or they never experienced it because they ain't never manifested here before. They up there and they're pulling strings and they don't see and they don't feel what you're going through. But I was here with you. I was crying with you. I was holding your hand. I was suffering with you. I saw you. I went through this shit myself. I'm fresh with this new age that they're going through because time don't exist up there. Time exists down here. And I know what it feels like to be trapped in this thing called time, in this thing called a matrix, in this thing called a body, in this thing called fear, in this thing called pain. So I'm going to go up there and I'm going to make sure you're going to get your shit. That's why your folks not here. That's why your divine masculine left in from the earth body and went in the etheric body. That's why this person that you love so much is no longer in a physical avatar because they up there and uh, helping unlock stuff. Because that was their plan. That was their divine choice. That was their soul contract. So make sure you got what you needed while you was here to fulfill your mission because you was the chosen one. That's why they gone. 
them people that was in your life that was causing you pain and trauma and trauma, them folks motherfucking loved you. They sacrificed being in your life and this time to be pre be a part of the preparation process for you to get there. So show them folks some motherfucking love and honor. That karmic that is with your divine masculine that's running his ass through the wrinkle, got him he got him exhausted and tired and half falling out and can't sleep and drinking and smoke taking him through all that motherfucking shit oh he's just so sad I just hate to see him going through that you know what they doing they give that bitch honor give her some love show her some respect because she doing her job you be ready when he come if he chose that role he chose to learn that lesson that way give him honor, give his soul some honor and respect give him a cheer on a high five baby you going through it I already went through my shit. Give me my challenge. Give me my high five to my old self. Bitch, you did that. Because everything that we said we was going to manifest, we right here. And there's more. Make room for better. Don't let the same obstacle stand in your way. We're in a retrograde season and shit is coming back around. Choices. Always evaluate information sources. Focus on the positive info people give you. Speak only your desired victory, not current circumstances. Numbers 18, 21. And I see something else where I put Proverbs 13, 4. But I, I, I stopped writing there. I stopped writing there. And I see something about the soul. Where I scratched it out. So let's see. Proverbs 13, 4. Let me put this back here. I'm going to read this first. Um, what I said it was Joshua 3, 5 through 17. And Joshua said to the people, Sanctify yourselves for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. Then Joshua spoke to the priest saying, Take up the Ark of Covenant and cross over before the people. Who went before the people? The priest. Who, who got the shit first? Who had to go first? Who had to follow first? Before the people? That person that was set apart on that picture I drew? told them to sanctify themselves ahead of time because tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among the among you so they took up the ark of covenant and went before the people and the Lord said to Joshua this day I will begin to exalt you in the sight of Israel that prepared the table for me in the presence of my enemies or in the presence of my uh she look friends confidence in the presence of everybody 57 11 That they may know that I was with Moses and I will be with you. You shall command the priests to bear the Ark of Covenant saying, When you have come to the edge of the water of Jordan, you shall stand in Jordan. Now I stopped at, um, I stopped at verse 8. I'm going to let y'all carry that on. I will read the whole chapter actually if I were y'all and just let Ruach speak to you. Let Spirit speak to you. What I say I was going to do y'all. Just one else on the back. Keep on feeling like my liver ring falling out. I feel like jewels because my liver ring has a jewel on it. I keep feeling like jewels are dripping, like falling off of my mouth or dripping from my lips. So these are jewels. Whatever it is that you're saying or that you're speaking is jewels. 57, 57. In alignment. Proverbs 13, 4. <laughs> Y'all, it ain't got to be this book. It ain't got to be cards. It ain't got to be nothing. When the most high, when the universal energies are channeling, it just come out of the air. It can come from me looking at that tree out there. I'm telling you, God, the most high, y'all, your angels, your spirit guide, your soul tribe, your spirit team, your ancestors, they can speak to you any kind of way. Listen, just like that damn picture I showed you, that crack in the wall, that information, you got to be able to flow. You got to be fluid, flexible. Somebody need to do some yoga because you need to be flexible for when your abundance comes in. If you know what I mean. And if you don't, then you'll know when your legs don't bend that way. I don't know. I just channeled that. Somebody, somebody expecting somebody and that somebody got some really fun planned for you in the bedroom. So you need to stretch. You need to be ready. <laughs> I don't know who that for. Hey, I channel what I hear. So, yes. Um, <laughs> Y'all other people that's judging and hating, don't call them folks. They answer the phone. Um, Joshua. 
three. No, that's not that one. This is uh, what? Thirteen four. Okay, so Proverbs thirteen four. The soul of the lazy man desires and has nothing. Oh, this about them folks that said you want it. I got it. It was promised to me. Let me go get it. Okay, this the lazy folks who who just thinking it's just gonna come to them. They didn't sow anything. They didn't put forth no effort. They didn't do their soul work. They think that it's just gonna come to them. It's saying, um, but the soul of the diligent shall be made rich. So I'm gonna close it out on that. I said I don't know if I said I was gonna um, read in the cards at the beginning or not, but we at fifty nine fifty nine. We right on time. Love y'all. See y'all next time. If y'all have any comments or y'all want to text me anything, inbox me any questions, I'm here to answer them. Uh, y'all do look need to look up 5959 because that's when the official ending of this video is, even though it's not going to say 5959. Anyway, bye.